In this video, I will show you how you can figure out the total rise. And of course, that's going to be the distance from the floor or the lower level floor area to the upper level floor area and is often referred to as the total rise of the stairway. And of course, this is the vertical measurement that we are going to use to figure out the height of the individual stair risers. And most of the time, it's going to be easy to figure a set of stairs with only a few steps in it and because all you're going to need for that would be to use some type of a straight edge off of the top of the deck along with a vertically level or plumb straight edge that you will be able to use to figure out the length of the stairway so with something like this we're going to be able to figure out the length of the stairway along with the total rise of the stairway so that we can figure out the height of each step along with the length or depth of each step. So the first thing you're going to want to do will be to use a board long enough that you can secure to the top of the deck and make sure that it is horizontally level. The next up, you will take a board and connect it to the face of the decking or the spot you are going to be starting your stairs from and then make sure that it is plumb or vertically level. And then you can use a wood stake or something to firmly secure it to the ground so that it is not going to be moving. Then you will need to locate a stake somewhere near the front of your straight edge. And of course this does not need to be perfect because after you figure out how many steps you're going to need you will be able to locate it directly in front of the first step. So in other words don't worry about locating the stake perfectly because you'll be able to relocate it or add another stake later. So for example, if I have no idea where the stake is going to be located, I'm simply going to measure the distance for the total rise of the stairway. And again, this doesn't need to be close. You're going to be able to tidy everything up after you figure out how many steps you're going to need so you can locate this stake directly in front of the first step and directly underneath your straight edge. And to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, you're simply going to have something like this set up to where you can use a number that's going to be close enough right now to provide you with how many treads you're going to need. And if you need more information on how to figure out the tread depth and the amount of treads along with the individual risers you're going to need for a set of stairs like this, then I would highly recommend checking out some of our books or more videos on the website in order to fine tune the location of the stake or whatever you're going to be using to measure the overall total rise for the deck stairs that you are going to build. Next up, let's go ahead and change the terrain a little bit so that I can show you how your straight edge probably isn't going to do you much good coming off of the deck like we had in the first section of the video. However, this might work a little bit better. And if you notice, we don't have a straight edge coming off of the top of the deck. And in some cases, cases all you're going to need will be to have one long board coming off of here to measure everything. However, if you're going to be dealing with a situation where that's not going to work, then just simply create something like this. And even though I have the location of the stairway marked off, you can always move it over an inch or two so that it will be out of the way while you're building the stairway. In other words, it might benefit you to have this set up over about six inches so that you can pull measurements off of it while you're building the stairway. And of course, this is going to become more obvious to you while you're building the stairway. So if this is your first time doing something like this, take my advice here and move this over a little bit so that you can pull measurements from it, or at the very least, use it to double check other measurements while you're building the stairs. Next up in the video I tried to figure out a method that you can use to create a square template guide like this by using a sheet of plywood or something square like a sheet of plywood to where you could place it on the ground and then project it forward a little bit as shown here. Now another thing I need to point out is that it's going to benefit you to have another part like we have here, this type of setup. 
so that we can use it along with this here to position the plywood. And you might even need to have something like this on each side. So again, what we're doing here is trying to create a template we can pull measurements off of so that our stairway is going to be square off of the deck. And you can see here where I have a couple of measurements lining up with the edge of the guide boards here that can be used to square up either this side or a template on the other side so that our stairs will be square coming off of the deck. So basically you would position this board, this board, this one, and this one, and then use a string to position this one here. And again, if you're off an inch or two, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. And I believe I do have another video on how to use a string, and I will put a link here in the video so you can go check that out. So not too difficult. Once we have all of our boards positioned, plum and level, we can simply measure from the ground to the top, from the front to the front, and simply work our way up to figure out the total rise and run for this stairway. And again, these boards don't need to be located perfect in this direction from kind of right to left in the video. Because if this board's off five or six inches, you can simply grab a level or a straight edge and then measure from here over and then remeasure this distance to fit into your stair building project. So again, if I needed to make the stairway nine inches longer to the back of the stringer that's going to sit on top of the concrete slab, then I could simply do it like this and everything should work out okay. And hopefully by now this makes sense and doesn't leave you more confused than when you started watching the video. So not too difficult to figure out the total rise. We're going to start from the measurement that we come up with here and then just simply add these three measurements together. And then once we have the total rise, we can figure out how many treads or steps we're going to have in that stairway. And then we can measure the distance from here and here and then add these two numbers together and then if we need to make it a little longer we can just simply come off of the front here to locate the front of our stairway. So again hopefully this makes sense and if it does and you enjoyed the video or you learned something from it make sure that you let us know by hitting the thumbs up button and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.